Oh my God. Oh yeah, you already know what time it is, man. What's the dealio, man? Jay and Mary back another video. Now today, we just had a GOAT reaction last night to me hitting the Tiger. So it's only right I come to y'all with the best ways to wrap up on NBA 2K22 next gen, you feel me? You see them running off the court with the Tiger? That could be you, boy. Before the video start, make sure you guys smash, bro. Smash that like button, dawg. Shout out Nodi Gang, bro. As always, bro. Love y'all niggas the most, bro. Love y'all boys to the fullest. Anybody that hit that notification bell, man, subscribe to the channel because we coming with daily content two times a day plus a stream. We finna turn up. So with that being said, bro, it's time. It's time to get into the best ways to get this rep, man. Make sure you guys watch the whole video. No skips because I'm telling you, Everything's important from the first all the way to the last, dog. I'm telling you. So let's get it, man. Let go. Obviously, I can't be playing the game, so there's gonna be clips behind me and junk to help y'all boys understand more. But the main clip is gonna be me playing this game. Y'all boys should like it. Now, I need you guys to not skip anything, bro. Not skip anything. I'm talking about one through. It's a lot of points. It's a lot of stuff I gotta tell you guys. So you guys can make sure you guys are tedious and making sure you guys getting as much rep as possible. Don't skip, bro. I'm telling you. This ain't the vid, bruh. From one all the way to 30. Important. Even the last one is one of the most important ones. So, you guys make sure you guys stay for the whole video, man. So, the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is about the in-game stuff to do. The things that you want to do when you're actually playing the game on court and getting buckets. So, you guys want to aim for my points. If you guys see after every game, it's going to give you a certain amount of my points, whether it's shooting, playmaking, defense, and all that. You want to have as many my points as possible, meaning that then you got to be active. You got to be active out there. The best my points to get and that's going to give you the most rep on this game is playmaking and defense. With that being said, what you want to do is throw a lot of lobs. Now, if you guys have uh, been knowing how to rep up in previous 2Ks, it's basically the same way. You want to throw as many lobs as possible. Now, it maxes out at six. After the six lob, they stop counting that stat. Those my points are going to be exponential, you know what I'm saying, compared to a regular assist. So make sure you guys are throwing lobs. Also, throw flashy passes. Uh, it's going to be times that they play in the paint. You're not going to be able to throw lobs on a, on a casual basis. So make sure you guys are uh, also throwing flashy passes if you can't throw lobs. Now, once you're done with that, as a guard, I would say try to get as many threes as possible for the shooting. And then the defense is going to come. It's one of those things that if you're not, if you're not um, a defender, it's going to be hard to really get all those points. My center is watching. That's going to help. So you make sure you guys are getting those rebounds and blocks as well. And in my opinion, I think the best scenario for a guard would be six lobs for assists or six flashy passes whatever the case may be try to get it and then three threes for a center i would say six alley -oop finishes you know what i'm saying obviously the guard is gonna be throwing the oops to somebody so it should be you center you know what i'm saying tell your guards start throwing them up you know what i mean they be killing for the three all the time tell them you're trying to wrap up so Make sure you guys are trying to get those uh, lobs and then get as many rebounds, blocks, and all that as possible. The next thing, and I, I know is I'm leaving somebody out. Lockdowns, make sure you guys are staying to hear this because there are good methods for y'all as well. With that being said, the next thing on the priority list is the teammate grade, all right? The teammate grade. Now, unlike current gen, teammate grade on next gen matters a lot. To combat with the my points, you need to make sure that you are out there and um, sharing the ball. Like I said, Lobs is gonna get that teammate grade up. Green and shots. For getting an excellent release, my guards, you know what I'm saying, don't be out here relying on sniper. Don't be out here shooting them, them, them great whites. I need you guys to green up so you guys can get as much teammate grade as possible. For my centers, it should be easy. It should be very, very easy, bro. You just setting screens, um, getting rebounds now there are two courts you can go crazy on a 2v2 that's gonna end the game's fast and then the 3v3s now the centers on the 2v2 i'm sorry y'all aren't y'all aren't gonna be going crazy I, if i'm a center i will not be playing 2v2 if i was y'all if you're playing with a good guard y'all probably aren't gonna be uh giving the ball up so you won't have the time to be getting rebounds playing defense or anything like that all you're gonna be doing is getting screen for assist screen for assist and that's gonna equate into a low teammate grade you want to be getting the a plus every single game if possible but i'm gonna preference that by saying and i know i'm trying i'm going kind of fast because i don't want this video to be super long but i want you guys to understand all this information because this all plays a pivotal role in trying to rep as fast as possible i got my junk in literally under 24 hours bro i got a tiger in 24 hours but you guys have to understand when doing this, when going for lives and all this thing, you have to win the games. Now, that might be the most, the most important thing. If you're not winning games, your rep is not going up as fast as it needs to be. Like, let me give you an example. Say for a great game, 
and I win, I get 15% in terms of my rep, right? If I lose that game, having a great game, I'm only gonna be getting like three. Like, it's a big difference. Margin of error is all based upon winning that game. So make sure you guys are going out there and winning the game first. If you guys get into a comp game, obviously you're not gonna be able to throw six alley-oops. They gonna be playing that thing and not, not dragging out a game. It's better to get an A- minus and have four alley-oops than get an A+, plus, six alley-oops, but you end up losing, Bruh. you know what I mean? So keep that in mind when playing. And also, limited mistakes, you know? You guys don't want turnover, you guys don't want to allow a man to score. So whether you're on a 3v3 or 2v2, you guys gotta make sure you are trying to get that team you created up as fast as possible. Now, you guys notice throughout this whole thing, I only been mentioning guards and centers, right? And it's for a reason. Lockdowns really don't have a place in the park when it comes to getting rep as fast as possible. Because if you think about it, if I'm getting the screen from my big man and I'm shooting a shot and I miss, it's going to the center. The center and point guard are a part of the offensive plays all the time. Whereas the lockdown's in the corner. So he's not providing anything on the offensive side. So that means that it's gonna be hard for him to get even get my points for one. And it's gonna be super hard for him to get a teammate grade. So with that being said, for my lockdowns, you gotta go to the wreck. I think I'm pretty much done with the end game stuff. You guys know to throw lobs, shooting greens, helps, and all that stuff. But now we on to the off the court stuff. And this might be like, that's why I said don't skip because this when it starts getting very, very important because this is what helps you on the court. Now the wreck is one of the biggest cheat codes on this game. I swear to God, most of the people that hit legend first on this game, Play it wreck wasn't in the in the park grinding for real. No, they was in the wreck because if you actually go in there and win your game, you're getting a crazy amount of rep. So my lockdowns, like I'm saying, you guys want to play wreck because the game is drawn out. You got 20 minutes to get an A plus. You should be able to do it. You're gonna get the ball enough to do it. You're gonna get enough steals, all these other things, and also you guys gonna get enough my points. So make sure you guys prioritize that wreck. If you can get a whole squad of five, go in there and then just run it up. If I was really grinding for rep, and I had to choose between playing wreck and park. I'm going park. I'm going to park. But that's because I can't I can't stand playing a 5v5 wreck. I think it's boring. But this is a rep of video, bro. If you guys want to be able to, you know what I'm saying, flaunt the tiger, get all that, yeah. Go to the wreck and run that thing up. For my guys that said I ain't doing that, Jay, I feel you. I feel you. Make sure that if you guys are gonna play park and you're trying to get as much rep as possible, you stay in your affiliation. Now, what staying in your affiliation does is give you a 20% boost. Now, it might not seem that big, but on the grand scheme of things, you gotta think, bruh. You gotta play a lot of games regardless. To hit level 40, you have to play a, a, a decent amount of games, right? Let's take at least about 500 games, bro. You chop 20% by five, that's 400 games. So, in the grand scheme of things, it's gonna matter. So make sure you guys, if you guys uh, play part, you're in your own affiliation the whole time. Don't go traveling because that just cuts it down. Duh, you don't see the difference by the end of the time you grind it for show for show. The next thing I'm gonna say is that when you guys are in the park, do not worry about streaking up. Now, I feel like this is a problem with 2K, and honestly, like, I understand I understand it both sides. I feel like streaks should matter. I feel like you should get more reps for streaks, but you guys all know that boosters are going to take over with that and uh but that's really like a 2k problem i feel like 2k need to be able to know who boosting now anyways let me digress before i go on a tangent you guys don't don't worry about streaking if you guys are on a five game streak it's more than likely people aren't going to be coming for the next five minutes my nigga so hop off that court court hop now not everybody got the time to be on 2k all day like me ain't nobody not everybody a nerd like me you know what i'm saying y'all be out here y'all be out here y'all pushing peak so make sure you guys are hopping off streaks man and going to play different courts because all that time that's elapsed you're losing out on rep and if you guys don't want to deal with that go into the 3v3 pro-am matchmaking now the thing about that is that you get less rep in the 3v3 pro-am all right you get more vc but you get less rep and i'm gonna come out with some vc tips for y'all boys make sure you guys come into the y'all just hit the like button show me what that like button do man if y'all want to see some vc tips on how to you know what i'm saying come up because hold on real quick i'm still recording i got bands okay? you know what i'm saying jay amir jay amir got bands bruh that's not paid for so if y'all want to see those VC, goddamn Torchy. If y'all want to see a VC tip, man, y'all let me know. But anyways, back to the video. Like I was saying, 3v3 pro am is definitely a good way to, uh, you know what I'm saying, consistently get games, get some rep while y'all at it. So if you got a squad with you, y'all boys go in there and just run that thing up. Now, if you don't have a squad, you know what I'm saying, I'm telling you, this is for everybody. Go to the factory. Now, what this does is allow you to play with other people that's random. It's nothing worse than playing with randoms against a squad. You're by yourself in the park. 
You're gonna lose. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna lose because eight times out of ten, you're gonna be playing people that know each other. And chemistry matters, bro. It matters. Make sure that you guys are going to the factory so that everybody's at the same playing field. Nobody in there knows each other. It's hard to, you know what I'm saying, match make in there. So, and it really just limits the amount of times that you lose. Like I said, you guys don't want to be losing. Winning the game is the most important thing. So, go into the factory, run that thing up if you guys don't have nobody to run with. And yeah, another thing, you feel like, Jay Amir, I'm winning, I'm getting my my points, but the rep's still going slow, bruh. The rep's still going slow. I got you, gang. So, you, what you guys want to do is make sure you guys are playing every single double rep event. Now, I'm about to show you guys uh, the season events right now that's coming up. This is pretty obvious, but uh, it's going to lead into more stuff. And that's why I'm saying, y'all boys, make sure you guys stay. Now, you guys see, every Friday is going to be uh, Club 2K. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. You see, right now, it's Mobile Grand Prix. Anything on the event system is going to be double rep. You guys see the rep. Uh, ruffles all that is double rep make sure you guys are playing those games so say you're on type some type of time schedule try to segment those events for times i'm gonna play 2k you know what i'm saying instead of going out here making it a little bit harder imagine just playing 30 games and getting 60 games worth of rep you feel me and to help y'all boys out anybody that's new to the game bro um some of these double rep events actually lead into more double rep outside the event, bruh. Uh, most of the time, I'm not gonna lie, you see on Beast of the East, we out here. We out here, I feel like everybody know that the Beast of the East is that that one. I want y'all, you know what I'm saying, before before it gets too late in the season, if you, you can literally switch affiliations without losing rep, you know what I mean? So go to the Beast of the East, you guys are seeing right there that I'm, I'm right there, that's how you guys do it. You guys go, switch affiliation, come to the Beast, because every time you win an event, the mobile event, whoever has the most points, as a as a as just a affiliation gets double rep in the park you want to be a part of that you don't want to be a south city viper looking lame as hell with no double rep and the beast over there you know what i'm saying having a blast just having a blast so come to the beast of the east we run it up i think it's more so because it's more people here this park and also the north side but we usually just win every single event so make sure you guys are doing that in other events you guys have puma mania you guys gonna see go to the puma store for that also it's gonna be rival day when rival day happens i need you guys to put on your attire put on the attire so you guys can get that double rep i'm gonna show you guys everywhere to go inside the sewers you know what i'm saying all those little other stores the weakest life you know what i mean the beast of the east only one you know what I mean? we rocking we rocking out so make sure you guys are doing that to get your double rep like i'm saying these are these are all ways to get boosts now the other thing is these double xp coins now they come far and scarce but when you use them you get that double rep you know what i mean you get boosted up now one way to get them things is and people people this is like i said that's why i say don't skip nothing y'all gotta go to these quests now you guys still gonna see on the screen i put up the quest you complete these you get double rep you can stack up these coins and when i say stack it i mean stack it because you only want to use these coins towards the end of the rep bar don't use these coins when you at level one it's already easy it's already easy to hit the next rep at level one but when you get to them 25s but them that is where it take you feel like it take like 20 games to get to the next one that's when you want to start using double rep so you guys make sure you guys stack up them coins and wait towards the end of your uh you know what i'm saying the little rep bar to start using them also another thing is that when you guys are in these double rep events they stack so if you have a times two coin it's really times four if you would activate that thing the club 2ks of the world the ruffles of the world the mobiles so i would say wait till the end of your rep bar and wait till you get into an event so then you really out there just getting gifted with the rep you feel me you can get your your own built-in times four so with that being said man i hope i explained everything everything for y'all boys if you haven't bro hit that subscribe hit that subscribe button dog you have to it's p if you do it you pushing p you feel me with that being said man we double uploading the whole season four so be ready for a video coming next i love y'all i'm out